Another great episode of Heartland Season 17, another review from me. This one was quite emotional, especially for Lisa and Lou, but it also had moments that made me think the writers are really preparing Nathan Jr. to be the next love interest for Amy. Last week, I argued how they would make him the new Ty Borden, and I still stand by my point. Did you see how Amy looked at him? Anyway, I will talk about this storyline, but I want to discuss all the others. Let's start with the most heartbreaking but also a little annoying one. You know I never hid my emotions about which Heartland characters I like and do not like. I have always been on the fence about Lisa, but in this episode, she got me all riled up. She got the news that her ex-husband Dan had passed away recently. I get it. This was devastating news, but she acted like a child throughout the episode, refusing to talk about it, and deciding not to go to the funeral. I understand that it was difficult to hear about your ex-husband's passing and not get to say goodbye to him, but you are still a grown woman who should know how to communicate. It was a bit annoying to watch the storyline, to be honest, but I still enjoyed Jack's maturity in talking to Lisa about the issue and wanting to go to the funeral with her. In the end, they learned Dan did say goodbye after all, with a framed picture that he had sent to Lisa, and they decided to go to the funeral together, which was the right decision. But Jack had to get out of a competition to attend Dan's funeral since they were on the same day. Here's where Nathan comes into place. At the beginning of the episode, Nathan invited Jack to a working cow horse competition that he was attending. He saw Jack and Blue working together and thought they would make great opponents. At first, Jack was hesitant, but after speaking with Amy, he decided he would have fun at the competition. After Nathan learned Jack had joined the competition, he came in to talk to them once more. He was both nervous and happy that Jack made that decision. But in both scenes where Nathan was involved, what got my attention was the way Amy looked at him. She looked both shy and interested, which made me feel like she started to have feelings for him. The trailer for the next episode already shows them alone, so they will be having more scenes together. I cannot wait. Since Jack wouldn't make it to the competition, Amy decided to work with Blue instead. The horse was stubborn initially, but there's no horse in the world Amy can't convince. I guess she will be going to the competition, which again means more time with Nathan. Other storylines of the episode were also quite emotional. We learned that Lou had been having sleepless nights because she was still upset about having lost the mayoral race. In fact, she missed the bank meeting for the gallery to get a loan. Jessica was angry but understanding once she learned about Lou's struggles. Lou decided to talk to Rick about finding money for the gallery, and Rick helped them get community funding. But there would be one stipulation. Other artists' works would also be shown in the gallery. Jessica wasn't happy about it, but they had no other choice. Lou and Rick helped each other in different ways. It turns out Rick has been sleeping at the office, unable to go home to his new baby and to spend time with his husband. This was a bit stupid. Don't mayors have staff that helps them? Do they do all the work by themselves? Anyway, Lou will help him by babysitting Maddie every once in a while so that Rick can get some alone time with Carl. She also advised him to find his own Rick, someone who would be a great help at the office. So he will do that. But Lou's problems still continue. I wonder what her solution will be because I don't think this partnership with Jessica is working for her. She will have to find something else to do in life. Otherwise, she won't feel like herself. The final storyline of the episode was perhaps the most unexpected. It showed Tim and Katie having some quality time. I was quite angry at Katie because she sold the locket Lou had given her to buy a used dirt bike. The bike had all these problems, but Tim helped her solve them. They had a fun time together and managed to get the bike running. But they did all of this while hiding from Lou, which means she will blow up when she finds out. That's it from episode 5. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. What was your favorite storyline? Do you like Lisa? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon!